Greetings friends, welcome to the channel Hunting in Russia. My name is Dmitry Panov and I have been hunting for more than 15 years now. In the meantime, I've had an opportunity to visit many hunting enterprises throughout Russia. Now we have decided to make a series of videos reviewing various hunting establishments. In these videos we shall describe the visited hunting businesses without fear or favor, all the pros and cons, and reveal the beauty of the Russian nature. Stay tuned! This drive hunting take place in the southern Urals, in the Korgan Oblast. Local hunting grounds Miaske is a genuine pristine forest spread out over 47,000 hectares. The easiest way to get here is via the Chelyabinsk airport, which receives daily flights from Moscow and is situated 100 kilometers away from the Miaske. The estate accommodating the guests is decorated in a traditional hunting style. Home-like, yet elegant. One can choose between two types of accommodation in separate lodges. Russian service area is one the upswing, including the sport hunting industry. This enterprise is a great example of this. The provided accommodation has all that is necessary for a thorough preparation before and a proper relaxation after the hunt. It's not just a place to stay, it's a proper hotel service. First sun rays just begun to strike through the clouds, whereas the hunters are already prepared and warmed up. Everybody is eager to start the hunt. The hunters are greeted by the gamekeepers and the game manager Sergei Nikolaevich. But not before the briefing and paperwork. Sergei Nikolaevich specifies the price for game. Under Ealing, 110 euro. Adult male, 175 euro. Females are forbidden to shoot. There is the fine of 270 euro for violating this rule. About 70% of males shed their antlers by November. And without those, even an experienced hunter can be confused with differentiating male specimens from female ones. If you see several specimens running together, know that the females tend to be bigger and run first. After settling all the formalities, the hunters moved out of the first drive site. The hunting party travels to the first drive site in two vehicles, one for the hunters and the other one for gamekeepers and trophies. The site is located relatively near to the estate, about 15 minutes away. The drive site itself resembles a small forest area, fully or partially surrounded by fields. Upon approaching the site, the vehicles split up. The first vehicle drives along the forest edge and drops the hunters off to their positions. It is scarily important for the game manager to carefully place the hunters. In order to do so, he has to understand at which point the game would run out of the forest and thus which weapon would be most effective on which position. He also has to take the wind direction into account, since the game has an excellent sense of smell. When the hunters took up the position, the gamekeepers, who have dropped off on the opposite side of the forest, start to move towards the hunters through the forest, bearing in mind that their goal is to make as much noise as possible. Upon hearing the noise, the roe start to move towards the hunters. The roe deer has an excellent vision, and still it struggles to see a motionless hunter. Therefore, it pops out into the field, where it becomes a perfect target for the hunters. Dmitry and the cameraman were dropped off on the third position. This time Dmitry used the Blazer R8 carbine chambered for 0.3006 with a bullet weight of 11.7 grams. There comes a lull moment, and nothing but the howling of the wind can be heard. The drive starts when the hunter can hear the cries of the gamekeepers in the distance. You never know when everything will start to happen, or even if it did happen at all. 
after Rose have appeared 70 meters away from Dmitri. A swift turn several seconds for Amy, and there goes the shirt. Dmitri decided to let the second row go. On this hunt, Dmitri is accompanied by his loyal pathfinders. German were head pointers, boss and Harley. German were head pointers of the Drat Haas is a gun dog breed notable for its high trainability and virile character. Also, one can know their devotion to their master. This breed firstly appeared back in the 19th century in Germany and since then is very popular among hunters throughout the world. The Drat Haas breed would not fit in a dog show and it would feel bored and tight in an enclosed space of a city flat, as its sole purpose in life is to hunt with its owner. The Dratha is known for its universality. One would find them fit for hunting of any game type. Both fitted game and has. Its performance is perfect anywhere, from fields to forests. It is not scared of water and makes a great companion for a drive hunt. While Dmitri accepted congratulations, the gamekeepers start to flay the trophies. This usually takes about 10 minutes. Then everybody moves on to the next site. This time the cameraman is left with Sergei. The row went out of the forest far enough, 200 meters away. Well, it seems that today Lady Luck is one in sight. Meanwhile, Andrei on the fifth position had a better time. He counted two rows simultaneously and managed to hit both. The first one was bagged with one accurate shirt, while the other one ran off to the forest. The second one is what they call a wounded game. Despite continuous efforts to find it, the second row escaped the hunters. After a lunch break, the hunters advanced to the next drive site. Cameraman is left on the second position with Mikhail. When one is won the position, it is very important to be one high alert, even if the gamekeepers are not heard yet and the surroundings seems to be clear. The game would not wait for the drive to start. The distance is too far, thus the hunter decided not to shoot. Sometimes it is better to cease fire in order to not scare off other potential targets. Mikhail wasted his chains. This decision proved to be the right one, since another row have appeared from the bushes. While running zigzag, it popped off to the forest edge 50 meters from Mikhail, but suddenly turned out and ran back towards the third and fourth positions. Mikhail wasted his chains. The hunt was difficult but yet exciting. During each of seven drivers, up to ten specimens have appeared near the hunters. Alas, the amount of trophies is not great. We have backed seven rows, although we could do more. This is probably a result of our excitement and lack of experience. This establishment has about 10,000 specimens. There are a lot of trophy animals with antlers length reaching up to 42 centimeters and the weight of up to 1.5 kilograms. Each drive employed four gamekeeper beaters at once. 
this had a positive impact on the amount of potential trophies. Per one day, there were about 70 rows. However, it should be noted that one of the gamekeepers was misbehaving. We would like to know that the game manager Sergei Nikolaevich is a true professional and despite the misses and failures of the hunters, behaved adequately. Well, maybe allowed himself a few strong words. Dear friends, you can purchase a tour to one of the hunting enterprises of our country. We can help you in organizing the trip, finding an enterprise best fit for you and getting you a fine trophy. Contact us through the means listed in the description. So, there was our first raw drive hunt. There were some issues, misfortunes, nevertheless, all in all, we felt much more joy rather than disappointment. I recommend everyone to visit this fine establishment. Fellow hunters, if you have enjoyed this type of video, please share this video with all your hunter relatives. We are looking forward to read your commentaries and to reply to some of them. Your feedback is what makes us better and that is crucial for our channel. Like and subscribe for more interesting videos. I am Dmitry Panov. Until next time.